I think wrestling became my sport before I really chose the sport. I started wrestling when I was five years old and um, you know, kind of learned the muscle memory, learned the moves, and eventually by the time I started caring how well I did, it uh, turned out I was doing pretty well at it. I pretty much only did wrestling from a very early age, so the, the other sports that I dabbled with wasn't very good at. <laughs> In terms of the competition, what is it? What do you like the most about wrestling? What's most important to you? I think uh, my favorite thing about wrestling is how pure the victory is and how pure the defeat is. It is, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat and may the best uh, man or woman win. In your experience, now that you've started Athlete Ally, what's mm -hmm. the biggest barrier to overcoming homophobia and transphobia in sports? You have uh, teams who are signing on to be athlete allies, who understand the value and importance of being respectful and inclusive of the LGBT community. But in other instances, I mean, there are coaches who are really homophobic, and there are fans who still chant really derogatory and demeaning things. Obviously, there are still lots of obstacles to overcome. It's hard to kind of generalize where our issues are, but um, hopefully we'll, we'll cross those off the list shortly. Of the positive responses, what's one that sticks out for you? There's been a lot. I mean, I think the biggest reward for me is the fact that I'm, I was a college wrestler. Um, I'm now a college wrestling coach in a sport that most people know relatively little about. And f for me, it's been amazing to see how many emails I've gotten from young closeted kids who have said, you know, Hudson, thank you so much. Now I feel like I can finally join a sports team. Now I feel like I can be myself in the locker room. Um, you know, that's been so rewarding for me. And knowing that, you know, if a, if a college wrestler can get that type of response, imagine what would happen if we got a professional athlete to speak out as an ally, to be that affirming and uniting uh, voice for the young uh, gay and lesbian kids in this country. It'd be just really powerful. Based on your own experience, what's one thing that you would tell young LGBT athletes out there? Sport is a space for everyone, and it's it's... It's given me the greatest joys of my life, and I know that it could sometimes maybe seem scary to, to be on a sports team and to be in the, the, the locker room, that environment that may be perceived as homophobic or, or um, a little less inclusive than we would like. But there are more athlete allies than we realize. They just haven't been given a platform to share their voice. Chances are when they find out um, you know that that you are you are gay and you are a teammate and you are there. Um, there you'll see so many people who are that will be willing and ready to support you. Speaking out as an ally is really really easy. Um, there's not so there's not a lot of risk involved and there's so much good that it can do for others. We're going to need more straight allies to be affirming, inclusive, respectful voices before we can have more kids coming out in sports.